Welcome to the GameSpy Technology Unity Samples demonstration. In this video, we will show you how to use the sample applications included in our SDK release for the Unity Game Development Tool. We'll also walk through one of the samples for Saki, our data storage service, to show you how to retrieve player information from your Saki schema. This video doesn't focus on building a Saki schema or using the Saki Web Admin Panel. For more information on those topics, see the Saki Web Admin Panel Wiki article or watch our Saki Web Admin Panel screencast. You'll need two things for our sample applications, the Unity Game Development Tool and the most current version of the GameSpy Unity SDK package, which you can download from the Links section of your developer dashboard. Once you've downloaded the Unity SDK package, extract it to the top level of your Unity Projects directory. Next, open Unity and open the GameSpy Unity Samples project. Then, go to File, Open Scene to open the GameSpy Unity Samples.Unity Scene. First, take a look at the c -sharp scripts used by GetMySakiRecords.cs. Click on the empty game object included in the sample. You'll find that the GameSpy sample scripts are already associated with that game object. As a side note, you'll also see over in the Inspector tab that changing between the different test scripts is as easy as marking a different checkbox, simplifying the process of examining each GameSpy test client. Over in the Inspector tab, double-click on GetMySakiRecords.cs to open it in MonoDevelop, Unity's code editor. If it's not already open, click on the tab for GetMySakiRecords.cs. GetMySakiRecords.cs will query user-owned Saki data. Like all of our samples, this file is fully commented so you can follow each step in the code. For full details on each API, you can also view the documentation file included in the GameSpy Unity SDK package or check the Unity SDK category in the GameSpy Technology Wiki. This sample assumes that you've previously created a table via the Saki Web Admin Panel with fields that correspond to those that you include in your search. Since GetMySakiRecords.cs inherits from Mono behavior, it has a start method that handles initialization and an update method that gets called every frame. All of the variables needed to run the query are set up in the start method, including those needed for authentication. Authenticating the user is a prerequisite for every GameSpy service. The first thing that happens within the update method is a call to Authenticate, which will specify the user's nickname and password. Authenticate will get pulled each time Update is called, and it will continue to be pulled until the return state shows Complete. Assuming authentication was successful, the script next creates the game data table object that will be used for your query. The GetMyRecords function will be called, once again polling until completion, in order to query the authenticated user's data. Assuming she has data in this table, her records are then printed out, iterating through the records list inside your table object. Return to Unity, and then press the Play button in the Unity window to run our scene. You'll notice down in the lower left corner that Unity displays command line style output as the project runs. You can view the full console by clicking on this output, and from there you can view the editor log by clicking Open Editor Log in the corner of the console window. You can see the results of the Saki query since we just ran GetMySakiRecords.cs. Each sample works similarly, initializing all of the necessary variables within the start method, then authenticating and polling the relevant methods within update. The other included Saki samples demonstrate creating, deleting, updating, and searching Saki records. The Atlas samples show how to store match statistics to be processed and used for leaderboard queries. The matchmaking samples show how to advertise a match as a host or search for potential hosted matches in order to join one as a client. You have now successfully installed and run the GameSpy Unity SDK samples. You can build your own projects using the same directory and call structures as the GameSpy Unity sample scripts, and the Unity SDK, along with its samples, are compatible with PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. Simply switch the platform under Unity's build settings to the one that you want to use. Check out the GameSpy developer forums if you have further questions about integrating GameSpy features into your Unity games.